Hi, you're watching Real Loop. I'm Gina Morelli. In this episode, we'll dive deeper into what's causing low inventory and explore housing affordability in contrast to home price appreciation. Then we'll follow up with our Coos and Curry County market update for May. This month, high demand and competition are still being driven by lack of available inventory. We're seeing intense competition from buyers to win houses, with bidding wars, all cash offers, waived contingencies, and rent-free leasebacks increasingly common in many markets. One reason for this is less seller traffic throughout most of the country, while in contrast, buyer traffic remains very strong, driving buyers to do whatever it takes to stand out while driving home prices up, as shown in the March year-over-year -year home price appreciation, with FHFA reporting 13.9%, CoreLogic 11.3%, and Case Shiller 13.2%. Forecasters expect this appreciation to continue. How much will depend on demand remaining strong while supply continues to lag behind. As we've said before, with the seller supply being reduced by the pandemic, we can expect to see some return to the market as they feel safer. Examining supply from builders, on the other hand, we see headwinds of rising costs. You can't turn on the TV without hearing about rising costs of lumber in today's market. Robert Dietz from the National Association of Home Builders said this, the decline in single family home permits indicates that builders are slowing construction activity as costs rise. While housing starts were strong at the beginning of the year due to the home builders constructing homes that were sold pre-construction, higher costs and limited availability of building materials have now paused some projects. There are reasons to believe that this is likely to be an unusually long and strong housing expansion. Demand is very strong because the biggest demographic cohort in history is moving through the household formation and peak home buying stages of its life cycle, referring to millennials as reaching the stage of wanting to buy homes. With the current level of home price appreciation, many are wondering about housing affordability. Looking at the housing affordability index by NAR, with higher numbers indicating more affordability, we see that homes are now more affordable than almost as far back as 2012, with a noticeable spike in the middle area where distressed properties dominated the market after the housing crash. Looking at this visual of the median income needed to purchase a median price home, we see another positive indicator of housing affordability relative to what the dollar will buy. In Coos County, comparing 2021 to 2020 through May, the average sales price has increased 32.2% to $318,000, while the median sales price has increased 25.7% to $279,500. Inventory is down to 1.3 months compared to 3.3 in May 2020 and 1.5 in April 2021. Total market time for homes averaged 32 days in May compared to 84 in April 2021. 102 homes sold for an average of 99.46% of the listing price and 97.78% of the original price. In Curry County, comparing 2021 to 2020 through May, the average sales price has decreased 2.2% to $351,100, while the median sales price has decreased 0.2% to $322,000. Inventory is down to 2.4 months compared to 10.5 in May 2020 and 1.5 in April 2021. Total market time for homes averaged 39 days in May compared to 88 in April 2021. 47 homes sold for an average of 98.91% of the listing price and 98.1% of the original price. Coos and Curry County data sourced from RMLS.com and national data sourced from Keeping Current Matters. If you'd like to know more, feel free to send us questions or post comments. We are always looking for better ways to serve our community and hearing from you helps us do that. Stay safe and keep an eye out for next month's market update.